What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So, to round off happened last time, uh, we had an interception fight over here um, in Hungary, which resulted in lots of dead um, Austrians and Prussians. And then we also had a fight somewhere I can't quite remember. Um, but we do need to dispatch some fellas to go and deal with those men. So what can you recruit that's interesting? Hand mortar men. Interesting. Let's take can you recruit any good infantry? No, sir, really. Need to upgrade the new military building. Okay. Take a big enough army that, to make sure that we destroy that unit. Well, near as we can. Then if I take everyone, no. May as well take the guns. You guys chase them down. Repair the weaver's cottage. Upgrade the farm. You guys are getting a madrasa. Oh no you're not. Is this the new town? No. Well now we've got this open we may as well work through some of these buildings. Ordnance factory don't really need. Ironmaster's forge is a good one to get because you get a steam powered factory. Okay, before we do too much with infantry upgrade the mines because right now we are upscaling our military capability significantly and that does mean you need to pour a bunch of money into your economy in order to keep those men fighting and to keep them supplied and all that lovely stuff okay iron masters forge craft workshop Polish estate Pasha's palace I'm trying not to leave behind too many areas while also bearing in mind we do want to grow our armies even more. So you're about to be joined by three houses and two Nizam. Organ guns. They just don't have very much range. I'm, I really like having a longer range artillery. Because I don't like being outranged by enemy forces. Okay, let's pick up some more Nizam. Wherever they are. Da, 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 da. Nope, that's the sec bands. Nizam! Crew three more, and then we'll get some melee infantry. Actually, let's get some hand waters. There we go. And then these fellas. You guys fall back and you can be the start of a the start of a uh, follow-up force. Let's keep marching everyone up. Keep everyone replenished. I would like to move against you. You're replenishing. Let's pick up this farm because it's a cheap upgrade. We don't need a madrasa in Minsk because we've already got one. Force down here in Cairo is still recruiting because this is a force I want to send over to the Americas. One more turn to on get another really good navy. Okay. At some point I definitely do want to hit Dagestan, but I've got to bear in mind that opens up my front quite a lot. So I probably want to have a take Vienna or advance in Hungary, this area. Then I can gobble up Sarajevo. Then probably send another army to march up and take Tripoli. And also Dagestan itself. But right now, my intent, my focus, is to grow my economy. Okay, let's get a new head of government. 
Special Navy. I, okay, he's lower class and happiness is balanced out. He's five basic. He doesn't make people too unhappy, so let's do that. To gain the increase in town wealth. He might be better as a na in the navy, but this guy's not terrible. This guy's, this guy's pretty good for treasury, but so is he. Okie dokie. Oh, frame rate drop. Right. We also do have to bear in mind the sneaky sneaky Moogles, because right now we have one army and it's over here in Kabul. Maybe it might be wise to build some fortifications around both these territories. Potentially. So we've got, so we got improved coppering and we also got interchangeable parts, which is great because it knocks down the upkeep on loads of our men. Or uh, increase, it reduces the upkeep on our army and navy, which is perfect. Um, but do we need two doing the navy stuff? Not really. Maybe you do mass production. Do secular humanism. Reduces religious unrest, but that's not really a problem for us because we're mass converting already. It'll make people more unhappy, but it's plus eight per turn to town wealth, which is lovely. Good. Town watch is going to increase. and That is nice. Okay, you are going... Oh. Okay, you don't need that artillery then, so I may as well send that up to Mr. Ali. Then when this guy's knocked out, I want to, re I want to reform my army in Vilnius, and I want this army over here when it's replenished to cross over and hit Yelgava. That would be my intention. Ah, oh, my one of my uh, agents died trying to infiltrate Breslau. Lots of these cities are going to be a pretty tough nut to crack. And do I want to draw them all again into a giant... No, that's way too many men for one army. Even for a bridge battle, that's way too many men. But is that my... So what I've got to bear in mind is the Austrians will call in their marines and all of these men. And the first Prussian army were calling all of these men all at once. If I had another army, maybe. But, oh, I almost clicked attack. Decline attack. Um, That's no longer my bridge, buddy. I don't think. But it's quite a large battle, so let's do it. The, the Austrians are more than happy to march forward and Russians that march up. It's always the Austrians with the army that triggers the battle. So. Let's get up here. Get a bit more elevation. These guys are going to pivot around on top of the hill. There we go. Drop some pikes, drop some sec burn. Cover in each battle. So right now, the problem is... Well, not, not the problem. The name of the game is preservation. If I can preserve as much of my forces as possible then that means that we'll be in perfect position to exploit any major wins. And to be honest, I may end up... pivoting my position. They're just about to creep within quicklime range. 
Well, I mean, this guy's going to be well out, so he's going to... I'm going to re-align or re relocate his men. To be honest, I may just put my artillery behind the line. In order to have a less complicated battle line. Quick climb's going in. There you go. Half the fusilier's gone. March you guys a bit further downhill. Let's pick up your sec band support. Pick up your Mamelukes. Obviously my general I left in a nice exposed place. So their reinforcements coming on very slowly. Again, they have to go around a hill. No, it's the same battlefield, more or less. <laughs> Let's run the general's bodyguard. See if you can just destroy this fusilier army. Fusilier unit. They are our are, are only firing artillery piece because everyone else is either well everyone else is maneuvering <laughs> miss the other two are coming in now miss then they all missed. Unlimber my foot artillery and they can just have a ruddy old good time. Now, uh, well, actually... I don't think I necessarily want to be doing too much manoeuvring until I know where the other reinforcing armies are coming in from. Because I know one's coming from over here. The other may or may not come in from over there. So let's speed up time while they join the field. And just focus fire my artillery onto the Hussar unit. So let's just let them come onto the field. And they're just getting shot at with artillery, so... It's not a huge amount going on. Yeah, this is an army with multiple... Uh, multiple armies coming from multiple directions. So I want to take the easy wins where I can, and also not, also not be too. Don't take, don't take things for granted. If I pushed up here and they came in from over here, I'd be screwed, and this army would, would be destroyed. So you've got to play it smart. Try aim for those marines because if they if they land just short, they'll still get them. horse is going to skirt our lines. Good. They're eager. The general's actually going to charge my line. You guys don't fire at will. Yeah, let's drop you into square. Don't fire it well off for them as well. 
relocate or pick new targets for my artillery. Now they're starting to enter the field in bigger, greater numbers. Well, to a degree. But yeah, these kind of battles are... They're perfect. They really are perfect. But yes, like I said, I didn't really want to do... I don't want to get too aggressive. Because this is going to be a long fight. Focus my artillery on my how it's onto the hussars. Did their marines get destroyed? Oh no, they just fled. Yeah, you're after them. You're after them. Send my cavalry up here to try and intercept this artillery that's coming on the field. Two units, perfect. The general wants to try and intercept me, but he's not going to get to me before I get to their demi cannons and more demi cannons. And more demi cannons. So ideally, I don't want to rout now. I want to make sure I can kill these cannons for free. Yep, yeah, they're counter charging with their hussars. But it won't help them. Slice and dice. So this could be the head of an, one of the other bigger armies. Yeah, there's their engineers. So this Mameluke unit is going to come out of this very, very poorly. Unless they can route this guy fairly quickly. run then where possible use my foot artillery to support my foot artillery to support uh, my battlefield troops. And then walking into my fire to get to closer range. And my general, my cavalry is barreling, barreling towards my line. late hussars drop these guys into square run my cavalry through them so if they chase after me I'll lure them into square formation
Perfect. Look at that. Quick lime drops in. Their general's bodyguard. Hopefully, we can gun him down. Get you guys back out of line. Fire it all on to engage this regiment of foot. General's bodyguard has been routed. My cavalry run around the flank to kill the general's bodyguard over here. Quickly. General's been killed, but was that this guy or someone else? Yes, it was. Royal Mamelute Guards. They're taking a risky risky approach. Let's get rid of these militia. There you go, they fired into their line. They fired into their own line. My guys are upset, which is understandable. Hopefully they won't be upset for too much longer. Good. Actually, this... you could be better off attacking the 31st Regiment here. front line needs to shift backwards. Quick line inbound. So you're going to chunk out of the 60th. Let's charge the 42nd with our Mamelute guards. We've killed their general's bodyguard. Get ready. Dragoons are going to dismount, so I'm going to charge them in my cavalry. My guys are killing their hussars. Our right flank is getting pushed. So get every gun we can on it to try and thin their numbers. So let's do something like that. So they don't need to worry about attacking their dragoons. Bring out my pikes. Okay, pick new targets. Killed a bunch of them there. You guys intercept the 47th. Use the pikes to try and scare off their line infantry. Mamelukes, they're doing okay, not well enough. Bring the sec bands over, over there as well. So 
So my cavalry charge them just to tie them up. In order to hopefully... See my infantry start doing okay. Israeli. Well, my pikes are doing well against their Freikor. Let's throw my Israelian to try and make them finally lose heart. Have to charge these guys into the line infantry, otherwise we're going to get overwhelmed. Charge my Sekbans in. There we go, try shatter them. Sure they're done. Charge the Dragoons. Sec bands are going in against the Swiss line infantry. The battle here is still going on. My guards are doing a good job against their line infantry, but not enough. Good. Wavering. Routing. Everyone swarm the 60th. Hit them with canister shot. Charge the back of the Swiss grenadiers. How are my other sec bands doing? They're doing pretty good. I'm managing to beat the Swiss grenadiers, which is pretty good. Good. 60th are shaken because they've got lots of spiky boys attacking them. Come on, kill the Swiss Grins. Can you break away from here? go hit that gun team. These guys are going to attack those infantry there. All the dead bodies. Let's try to get some quick climb onto those grenadiers. Good. There go the Swiss grenadiers. Cavalry, get back and start doing some flanking. Same with my sec bands. Good stuff. And my Mamelu guards can do some good stuff by picking out their easy targets in the rear. You chase down those guards. Go and knock out the last artillery unit. Come on. There we go. Good. Go take out those Swiss Grenadiers. You guys are on to the foot guards. Let's get my general down here as well. That's the phase of the battle we're in now. We're in the mopping up phase. Swiss Grenz would be a good target to kill. Ah, these silly guards tried to lure me into their trap over here, did they? We're not going to be able to do as much damage as we'd like, but we've already done quite a good amount of damage on the battlefield as it is, so... Intercept these Swiss Grenadiers. 
you and some of those Swiss Grenadiers. Quick Climb's going to come in and help thin these fellas out, especially those Grenadiers, those guards. Holy hell. There we go. I chased on that unit of Swiss Grenadiers. There's only two of these guys. Kill him. Got him. Engage that unit. Damn right we're going to continue. They're probably not going to kill that Swiss Grenadier unit, but meh. Let's... Hold the artillery. Speed up time just a little bit. You work on that Grenadier Regiment. <laughs> Too late. Just look at this Grenadier Regiment. They look fantastic. Those are really good looking Grenadier figures. Try and intercept that foot infantry unit. Maybe. Probably not going to get that engineer unit as well. Nope. But there goes 24th Regiment of Foot. Uh, maybe go after this Freikorps line infantry. Yeah, you'll get them. And my general. Mamelukes knock out the 2nd Grenadier Regiment. So that's two, uh, two Prussian armies really badly mauled. To our immediate front. And that is also... It means we, we still have armies uh, deployed behind this fella that are in perfect shape to take advantage and exploit the breakout. Cost me three men. Where's the others? One man left. There he is. Get him. Close. Victory wasn't close, but it was a good battle, I'll tell you that. Well, see, I tell you that. It was a good battle. I thought it was pretty good. Look at that, we deployed twice the amount of men, but god damn, they've only got 800 left. So you've been knocked back. You've been knocked back. And you've been knocked back. Now Prussia has to deploy troops south to fill in that gap that, thanks to Austria, they no longer have the troops there to, uh, to back them up. But be in no doubt, they can produce a lot of men, and you're seeing it right now. So three armies covering Warsaw. This is why the armies at Moscow are so important. This is why we need to spend... Oh, it looks like Sweden is raiding it's Prussian territory. It's not ideal, because I want to have a clean run. So the reason why I'm not occupying that fort in Hungary is because they can bash away at me and they'll slowly erode my one army in the fort down so much so that it will be destroyed whereas an out where I've got my army deployed now it's much more sustainable in trying to keep them pushed back they demand military access steam pump land drainage for threshing machine nope Don't worry, Sweden. You'll get yours as well. I'll tell you that. Meanwhile, in the Americas, where we have no involvement yet, we are building the army in Cairo specifically for that purpose. P 
peace with Wurttemberg. May as well. I don't need to worry about attacking Wurttemberg for quite some... Another Imam in the Rumelia. Oh, didn't like me moving. There we go. I send you to Zagreb. Nation destroyed, Louisiana. Agent executed. Yeah, it's got a lot of... Oh, a lot of construction work. Military Academy in Cairo. Upgrade here and here, especially if we're going to keep building troops. Okay, two more turns to get the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards and they'll be ready to deploy. Pick up Alexander Cairo's Global Trading Company. Have you got metal roads? Yep. Okay. Small Madrasa in Lithuania. Just keep upgrading it. May as well. Great estates in Crimea, pick them up to palatial estates. Uh, you've already got your madrasa, so you're going to get a craft workshop. I mean, it's kind of backwards how I'm doing this. You're recruiting two hand mortars, two artillery. I'd probably like a proper unit of melee infantry. Do you love Semat Janissaries as a rule? One more turn, they're already. Recruit a general's bodyguard in Kiev. Start backing them up with artillery. Of a general here, Sipahi Sipahi Mamelukes 24 pounders, not bombardment mortars. Let's get the army staff college. Let's get Nizam rifles. I don't have machined rifling yet because I don't have an army staff college. Peace treaty with Wurttemberg signed. Some of our agents are still doing well. So, Moscow, Egypt, Ukraine. The Med. Well, this will be an army. This is the navy that will stay here. The army here at Heracleon. They will go west. But from Cairo, I want to recruit an army ready to attack Tripoli, but I'd also like to experiment with recruiting armies to land maybe in Croatia. Although I'm going to just quickly break both these dry docks. Oh, damn. Uh, no. Let's not fight that. But let's take this big navy out where well, they can raid their trade region. Well, they'd raid their trade route. So we're on 65,000 a year because we're producing bucket loads of cotton and fur. Upgrade this lumber mill. Okay, the men at this front are, are doing quite well. You can't catch them yet, probably because you don't. Probably because you've got the artillery with you. Without the artillery, you can catch them. Good, knock them out. March, march. You guys reinforce as much as you can and get back to Lithuania. The army here at Riga. Can you leave Riga? You can. Religious unrest is going down a lot. Because we're doing some good work on converting. You guys attack Yelgava. But, looking at the timer, I think that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for another, or for, a siege assault. Cheers everyone.